We have never killed anything before. You've never heard back before. All bets were off when the roster for 2023's newest shows were pitched to networks. Convince us otherwise. The range and diversity of topics are insane. You don't have to search near and far for these incredible shows that you usually find by accident on late nights. We brought the very best right to your doorstep. Welcome to See Next. Today, we're ranking the top 10 hidden gems, best new TV shows of 2023. Get your popcorn, ready, set, and let's go. She said my dad was still alive. What? And I know it can't be true because I watched him die. <laughs> Number 10, Wolfpack. What's happening to us? What are you doing out here? It's the teen wolf trope over. Nope, never. If you come from the world of Teen Wolf and the Vampire Diaries, then Wolfpack will fulfill the hole those shows ending left behind and stand out on its own in the meantime. All you'll need is the first episode to convince you. Set in the present day, Wolfpack tells the story of a teenage boy and girl when a California wildfire awakens a supernatural creature. Unlike most supernatural shows, these characters actually barely know anything about the supernatural world which is refreshing. Harlan. Remember. Harlan. Number nine, the gold. Gentlemen. Come on, me. Fool's gold, you tell us. The gold covers the iconic and notorious tale of the 1983 Brinks Matt robbery, during which a total of 26 million pounds worth of gold bullion Diamonds and cash were stolen right out from under the authorities' noses near Heathrow Airport. At the time, it was history's biggest and boldest robbery. See it unfold in real time and with incredible performances. This group has accidentally stolen the bars and is now working to launder them without getting caught. The dialogue is whip sharp, the direction is top notch, and the panic is real. It's all gone. The money and the gold out into the ether. It's like it never happened. Number eight, Harlan Coben's shelter. She said my dad was still alive. What? And I know it can't be true because I watched him die. <laughs> Mickey is afraid, and we kind of are too. See, Mickey's life in New Jersey is nightmarish. His mother is in rehab. He hates his aunt, and his dad is dead. When the Oracle-esque super creepy woman, and she is the stuff of nightmares, tells him that his dad really isn't dead, we're launched into a pedal to the ground plot where Mickey just feels like he's losing it. Harlan Coben's shelter is witty, tackles real life problems, and is filled with wholesome friendships. Did you guys hear about Ashley? She was supposed to be here yesterday, but she never came. Maybe she's in serious trouble. Number seven, I'm a Virgo. Can I have seven Bing Bang burgers, please? If you're a Virgo or have ever dealt with one, then you're likely to love this show. It's a coming-of-age story. Cootie, a 13-foot-tall man, is searching to escape. Along the way, he stumbles upon personality-making situations, as in awkward. He meets his idol, finds love, finds platonic love. It's an overall lovely story. You'll need a calm afternoon to relax with this tale of a Virgo. You are a 13 foot tall black man. They fear you. Number six, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. My name is Daryl Dixon. I come from a place called the Commonwealth. It's in America. Daryl Dixon is off doing stuff and things. In this dramatically anticipated The Walking Dead spin off, the world's favorite zombie fighting, crossbow wielding survivor ends up on the shores of France, out of all places. Now, we'll ask you a question. Have you ever seen the zombie apocalypse through a Baroque lens? And Daryl Dixon just can't escape the mantle of responsibility. Not only did he wade neck deep into the politics of an autocratic movement, but he's also torn between trying to get back home and helping Laurent, who may or may not be the next messiah. And the zombies. It's not just politics here, but a real threat again. Oh, and Daryl has a flail. He's ready. Ready for what? To lead the revival of humanity. 
Number five, American born Chinese. This is Wayne Chung. He's a new student and he's Chinese, like you. Uh, okay. The boys meet Marvel, meets everything, everywhere, all at once. But it would be a disservice to compare American born Chinese to anything else, even if it has the indelible Michelle Yeoh in the cast. We have Jin Wang, a teenage who, Percy Jackson style, finds himself face to face with Chinese mythological gods. And what could go wrong with that? The action? We miss tense, high stakes fight sequences like this. Number four, blue lights. I'm the driver, you're the observer. What are you observing? Uh... Another thing that proves that some cliches aren't so cliche when done right. Blue Lights is a cop show, but it's incredible. Hear us out. This Belfast-based drama follows the heels of Grace, Annie, and Tommy, police recruits who are more or less thrown off the deep end. The dynamic is entertaining. Then we have the way they deal with their community and how their community deals with them back. It's no secret that not everyone is a fan of the PSNI in Ireland. Multiple out all over normal. This is the entire McIntyre gang just showed up over. Back up on the way. Number three, Mrs. Davis. Is it okay if I proxy? Sorry, she'll speak to me through here, and then I'll just repeat whatever she says. Not she. It. Mrs. Davis gets wilder the more you watch it. The premise is that Sister Simone, played by Betty Gilpin, is ousted from her convent by an artificial intelligence called Mrs. Davis schemes against her. Sister Simone embarks on a warrior nun-esque mission to seek revenge on Mrs. Davis. But the road to revenge leads elsewhere, a search for the Holy Grail. She enlists the help of Wiley, her ex-boyfriend, and a resistance movement leader. Can they rise up against the machine? Mrs. Davis feels like an insurmountable threat, one step ahead of them every time. She wants to talk. Talk, 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 talk to you. If I say no, it's just gonna send someone else, isn't it? Probably. Number two, Deadlock. Eddie Redcliffe is my name. The first 24 hours of an investigation are crucial. He was discovered 27 hours ago, ma'am. Welcome to Deadlock Tasmania. It's gorgeous, but it also has a suspicious, frankly terrifying string of murders. With a bottleneck sort of setting, you have the quintessential quirky town character, charming setting, and what happens when opposites meet, or are shoved together and forced to like each other. A lot of people were originally attracted to the show for Kate Box from Wentworth, who plays the inimitable Dulcie Collins. But the cast is all around incredible. Eddie Recliffe, who's played by Madeline Sammy, is the perfect foil to Box. Pamela Robb, top notch. Collins, is that it? Nope, no, a mistake was made. Before we reveal our first pick, let's look at some honorable mentions. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Exo Kitty. What is happening? <laughs> what? I've never seen a girl crash into a dessert tower before? Rain Dogs. You can't stay here. I promise you, I will write us out of here. No, don't promise, just try. My Adventures with Superman. Ah! What was that? Superman! I'd like to interview you for the Daily Planet. Uh, sorry, no comment. Bupkiss. Wanted to spend a little time with my grandson. That's what it's all about. You're not supposed to smoke here. Number one, Extraordinary. I don't know why I just told you that. It's my thing. We all played this scenario at least hundreds of times as kids. What would we do if we suddenly got superpowers? Jen embarks on a tumultuous journey to uncover her superpower in a big, confusing, and often unfair world. Jen is the desperate kind. Her job is banal. Her hookup flies away after they get together. And her relationships are falling apart. Despite this, the thing about Extraordinary is that you don't feel that bad for Jen, but you have an incredible time watching her stumble and learn. Technically, the plot isn't so much about finding her super abilities than it is about learning selflessness. All right, well, I'll see you around then. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. You shouldn't buy that milk, it's open. And those are the top 10 best new TV shows of 2023. What did you think? Did we miss one of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below to be notified of new content. Thanks for watching.